In today's Zoo Plus magazine, we're going to introduce you to the topic of urinary tract diseases in cats, so you'll know what to do if your pet is ever affected. Cats are particularly good at hiding discomfort and even pain from their owners, so we often have no idea that there's anything wrong, and it can be even harder to find the cause. Additionally, the signs of urinary tract diseases tend to be complex and can occur either on their own or in combination with each other. There are different behaviours and symptoms that may indicate your cat has a urinary tract problem. In our scenario, the owner noticed that his cat kept trying to pass urine much more often than normal. He also found spots in the apartment, which is very uncharacteristic for Armin, his tomcat. When cats stop being clean in the house, it can be a sign that they're experiencing pain while urinating. This can be because they associate their litter tray with discomfort, so look for alternative places to go. If you notice one or more such behaviours or symptoms in your cat, it's time to act. A quick clarification from the vet is important, as clinical pictures can vary, and there could be serious consequences for your cat if symptoms go ignored. A consultation at the vet's will include some basic questions, such as, how long has your cat been showing certain symptoms or behaviours? It's also important to consider any pre-existing conditions and changes in your cat's environment, such as a move or an addition to the family. Your cat's medical history is important because urinary tract diseases do not have just one single cause. A distinction can be made between three main clinical conditions. Feline idiopathic cystitis, not easy to pronounce, FIC for short, is the most common case of flute and accounts for more than 50% of cases. It occurs spontaneously and is not contagious. The cause can't usually be definitively given. Bacterial urinary tract infections can also occur. Female cats over the age of 10 are especially prone to these. When urinary crystals, also called crystalluria, form in the urinary tract, they form the building blocks of urinary stones, urolithiasis. This cause is responsible for up to 20% of all lower urinary tract infections. A blockage of the urethra may also be a possibility. This can be caused by inflammatory cells, crystals and other debris. In this case, it becomes almost impossible for cats to pass urine at all. The veterinarian will perform an examination to determine if there's any significant swelling or pain in the cat's bladder area. It's also important to assess the physical condition of the cat, as being overweight can increase the likelihood of health issues. Analysis of the urine will provide further information. During the analysis, decisive indicators are found in the urine valves. In addition, the urine sediment is examined under a microscope, which allows struvite crystals to be detected. An ultrasound scan can provide even more clarity. This is because it can make any changes in the urinary tract, condition of the bladder wall, and contents of the bladder visible. Depending on the clinical picture and cause, further examination steps such as x-rays or blood tests may be used. Armin is a tomcat whose urine was alkaline, i.e. had a high pH value. The vet evaluated the ultrasound scan and x-ray images. Stones were not visible. Armin only has urinary crystals. This explains why he had difficulty passing urine.
The task now is to dissolve these crystals, treat the inflammation and prevent the formation of new crystals in the future. The patient will be given anti-inflammatory medication to take home. This will help the bladder wall to heal. In consultation with the vet, Armand's diet will also be changed. The special diet will help dissolve the suvite crystals and prevent them from forming again. In this case, the vet recommended a product that is precisely tailored to the disease. Special tailored food is available from Royal Cannon Veterinary Range, for example, Urinary SO. It creates a bladder environment in which struvite stones can dissolve and its formula provides all the nutrients and vital substances to support a cat's health. A long-term diet plan should be discussed with the vet during a follow-up visit. What's more important than ever for your cat is to drink lots of water. You can provide your cat with hydration through wet food, mixing dry food with a little bit of water and setting up additional drinking stations in your home. Here are some additional tips to support your cat's health. If your cat is overweight or has the potential to become overweight, you should try and incorporate more exercise into their daily routine. One way of doing this is through increasing play. Another tip is to make it as easy as possible for your cat to go to the toilet. It can be helpful to set up access to more than one litter tray. Ensure your cat feels comfortable in general. Being happy is an important factor in the functioning of their immune system. If treated quickly and correctly, the prognosis is good. However, urinary problems can often reoccur within a year. Even if your cat is visibly better, it's a good idea to visit the vet again after 14 days for a follow-up, as well as for regular checkups throughout the year. Zooplus wishes you and your pet all the best.